time to Are You Ready? with his Bible teacher, Carlos Crillo. Let's study the Bible. I wanted so much to eat this Passover meal with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will never eat it until it is given its full meaning in the kingdom of God. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe who bringeth forth fruit from the vine. Take this and share it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who bringeth forth bread from the earth. This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrayed me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man must die as God has determined. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Are You Ready? Uh, this is a time tonight, you see, they, they had some video from the movie Jesus, bienvenidos al programa Está Preparado. Vamos a estar orando unos momentos aquí en este programa. Bienvenidos. Welcome to all of you around the world here on YouTube. We're going to be praying. As you see, that's a video from the movie Jesus and the having communion. Glory to God. And we're going to be praying. We're going to pray and we're going to intercede. Glory to God. Well, let's drink our cranberry juice here and didn't do it on Facebook, but I'm doing it here on YouTube. Salud. All right. Praise God. Praise God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence. We ask that everything that we do and everything that we say be for your glory and for your honor. Espíritu Santo, dirige todo lo que vamos a hablar y te traiga a ti toda la gloria y toda la honra. In the name of Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Let's prepare our hearts to pray and intercede before the presence of Almighty God. chapter 5 verse 17 it says pray without ceasing now when you look at this the word pray is the Greek word prosukomai which means supplicate or worship the word without is the Greek word which means into a uh, to uh, uninterruptedly and without omission, 
uninterrupted. And the word seizing is also the same Greek word, di adi al itois, which means uninterrupted. Having prayer is very important. We, I encourage you to pray each and every day. Debemos de orar todos los días. And so also in Matthew 18, verses 19 and 20, chapter 18, verses 18, 19, 20, it talks about wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Gathered is the Greek word episunago, which means to collect, to assemble, or to bring together. And I'm sure there are people watching around the world who want to pray. And before we begin to pray and come before the presence of God this evening, I want to give thanks to the Lord, all the glory and honor to Him after we left church. My son, uh, we were thinking of what we're going to go. We try to do during the weekend uh, to go out and evangelize. Nosotros, después de iglesia, casi todos los fines de semana, trato de mantener ese deseo de ir y evangelizar y hablarle a otros de Jesucristo. El Espíritu Santo le habló a mi hijo Carlos Israel a ir y hablarle a un área donde antes vivíamos. And that's where we, where we used to live. The Holy Spirit led us there and we began to knock on doors. He wanted to knock on doors. He's 12 years old. He wanted to knock on doors. He said, glory to God. That's something I love to do. Knock on doors and share the gospel and walk through the street meet, meeting people. And we did. And all for the glory of the Lord Jesus one soul came into the kingdom. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let God use you in these last days. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. There's so much to pray for. But one of the things we're going to pray is regarding the situation with the coronavirus. As you know, the coronavirus is increasing. The people here the CDC in the United States says that it may become a pandemic. We pray that in the name of Jesus this will not occur in Jesus' name. We pray right now, Father, as we come and I invite all of you watching on YouTube, wherever you may be, my brothers and sisters in Christ, to pray and intercede at this moment. We know that Jesus said that this will happen in the last days. It's going to happen. But we are going to pray for mercy for healing upon these people who have the coronavirus in Jesus' name. Father, as we come before you through the blood of Jesus Christ, we ask right now, we pray for the people there in the city of Wuhan, China. We pray, Father, for healing of their bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that you will bring healing upon them in Jesus' mighty name. Father, in Jesus' name, we just ask this, Father, whoever may be watching, whether you're watching right now in South Korea, we know in South Korea the uh, coronavirus is growing. And so, Father, we ask in your name, oramos por los que viven en Corea del Corea del Sur, oramos, Padre, por sanidad por aquellos que tienen la corona, el virus corona, que no hay una vacuna, no hay una inyección, no hay ninguna vacuna en este momento. Oramos por sanidad por el cuerpo de esa persona en el nombre de Cristo. We ask for healing upon their bodies there in Wuhan, China, and also in South Korea. Father, we also pray, Father, for those who may be the, the virus which is entering parts of Italy. And schools are closing, Milan. Father, we ask for healing upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Here in the United States, we're almost up to 40 cases of coronavirus. He said, well, that's not much. Well, let me tell you, it only took one person in South Korea to a, a, a super spreader. One person infected 40 people. Those 40 people, now it's up to over 700 people in South Korea. So we pray that this will stop in Jesus. Name. We pray for the mercy of God. We pray that nations would repent in Jesus' name. So we pray, Father, that you would have mercy upon these nations. But in the midst of these difficulties, this uh, plague, that people would repent. We 
We pray for repentance. Holy Ghost repentance. Holy Ghost repentance. They're in Africa. They're in South Korea. They're in China in the name of Jesus. Now they say they could be in North Korea. North Korea doesn't want to be real. But we believe there's probably lots of cases in, in North Korea already. But we pray for healing upon them. We pray, Father, for change there in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, that all the leaders will come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We pray for that in Jesus' name. Uh, we also pray, Father, we pray, Father, for the uh, here in the U.S. We pray, Father, that these no more cases in America. In Jesus' name, we pray for those who do have the coronavirus. We pray for healing of their bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now, we also pray. Right now, there's the other plague that is happening. Father, the, the locust plague. And Father, we pray in your name. In the name above all names. We pray, Father, Father, that you will, uh, that these locust plagues that are happening in Kenya, uh, and I know in, uh, in parts of East Africa, parts of East Africa, and into the Middle East, like Iran, uh, Bahrain, we pray, Father, that these locust plagues will stop in Jesus' name. But these people, wherever they're at, Father, they will repent. They will repent. We pray for nations to repent before it's too late in the name of Jesus. We pray for people in America to repent in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And the nation of the United States will repent in the name of Jesus. Money isn't all there is. Money, the economy, is not all there is. We have, we in America are in spiritual bankruptcy. We are moral decay. We don't need a bigger GDP. We need in America a Holy Ghost transformation. We need Jesus. I mean, here we are knocking on doors, my son and I. And people are saying to me, this is the new thing in the 21st century. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need it. I don't need you to pray for me. Wow. Imagine. Just imagine. People saying they don't need you to pray for them. Everything's great. My bills are paid. Everything's great. A great economy. Everything's great. They only come to the Lord when they need it. But we all need God. We all need prayer every day. Pray that I get up in the morning. Isn't that something to be praying about? We need to pray. We need to intercede. And so pray, Father, we're praying here in the United States. You pray for your nation. And I pray for America. I pray for the President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Father, we come against the filthy mouth that he has. We pray in Jesus' name that filthy mouth will be stopped in Jesus' name. No more filthy language to come out of his mouth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No more. And I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, all these individuals who know him, who have prayed for him, who have anointed him, they need to right now go over there and tell him, Mr. President, we don't need you to talk, blaspheme our God, the God we serve. Don't blaspheme our God. Don't use any more profanity. Stop slandering people in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray that these ministers, if they don't go to him and tell him that he needs to change, they become false prophets. False prophets. And so, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, these leaders will be convicted by the Holy Ghost, and they go over there and talk to them. And they have connections with him, and they will say, Mr. President, this kind of behavior needs to stop in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. No more lying in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray before you, uh, my wife, Rosa, my son, Carlos, my daughter, Susanna, my stepson, Eddie, 
I bring you before you, Father, before your presence. I pray you use them for your glory and for your honor and a hedge of protection around them. I also bring me before you my, my, my parents, my brothers, their wives, their children. We pray for healing upon their bodies. In Jesus' name, sanidad sobre su cuerpo, en nombre de Cristo Jesús. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. If there's people watching, hallelujah, right now on YouTube, and you have, you have, um, you may have be infected with the coronavirus, and you're watching. And then in the name of Jesus, we're going to pray for the healing of your lungs in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That when people see you, they will be marveled by the healing power of God. Hallelujah. 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 You're healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Healed in the name of Jesus Healed in the name of Jesus. We just pray wherever you may be around the world. And you've got that. You might be on the Diamond Princess in Japan. In the name of you're watching. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the healing of your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That 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 virus will leave your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you may be sitting, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, for those people in South uh, Korea, we pray for healing of those bodies, that the, the, the coronavirus will leave their body, in Jesus' name, be cast into hell, in Jesus' name, never to return, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we just thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray that you touch these people. We also pray, Father, that uh, those who are suffering from the uh, from the uh, the the other plague, the um, locust plague, Father Langosta, que ha ocurrido en partes de de África y en Medio Oriente, which has been going on in Africa and in the east East Africa and into the Middle East. Father, we pray that that locust plague will stop in Jesus' name. But the people would repent. The people would repent of their sins in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask this in your name. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That your name be exalted. And I say, come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. We wait for you to, Father, take us home. Hallelujah. But meantime, Father, while we're here, we ask the Lord that you will anoint us. Make us bolder. Make my children bolder. My son Eddie, bolder. My daughter, bolder. My son Carlos Israel, bolder. My wife, bolder. That I will be bolder with the gospel. Give me a hunger for souls. Give me a hunger for souls. Give me a hunger for souls. Hallelujah. 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 Padre, danos hambre para las almas. Hambre para las almas. Hambre para las almas. Give us a hunger for your soul, for souls in these last days. Time is running out. Time is running out. Time is running out. It's time. It's time. It's time. And so, Father, I pray for those who are watching. They will be convicted by your Holy Spirit. Next time, if you do have any prayer requests, and I pray for everyone that God will touch you, God will heal your body in Jesus' name, wherever you may be, in Jesus' name. Do you know him? Do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Do you know where you're going to spend eternity? There's a heaven and a hell. There's no purgatory heaven and hell. Heaven is a beautiful place of joy and peace. Hell is a place of torment made for Satan and his demons. God doesn't send anyone to hell. You sent yourself there. God doesn't. 
It's your decision. It's your decision. Where do you want to spend eternity? Each one of us is going to spend eternity somewhere. Where will you be spending it? Donde lo vas a pasar? If you're not sure, you can't be sure by receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior this evening. Let him into your heart. Let him be the Lord of your life. Deja que él sea el centro de tu vida. Come to Jesus. Pray this prayer with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I repent of all my sins. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Wash me in your precious blood. In Jesus' name, amen. En esta noche, si no conoces a Cristo como tu Rey Salvador, si no sabes dónde vas a pasar la eternidad, lo puedes saber entregando tu vida a Cristo. Ora conmigo. Pray with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I repent of all my sins. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Wash me in your precious blood. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, pray for every single person to say yes to you. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Give them a hunger for your word and connect them to a church where they can be discipled. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to the family of God. But before we go, I do want to pray right now for the three people that my son Carlos Israel and I minister to today. One of them is a young lady named Janelle. Father, we pray for her. Pray for that baby. Pray for that baby. Everything will come out right in the name of Jesus Christ. And as a healthy baby in Jesus' name. We also pray for Isabel. We pray for her relationship with God. We pray for her heart to be healed. Jesus name. We also pray for the young man Monty who gave his life to you. We give you the glory and the honor. Give him a hunger for your word this young man and may he serve you in your kingdom. Oramos por todas estas personas que vinieron a Cristo y Dios que tú los toques y los sanes en el nombre del Señor Jesús. Amen. Let us know if you gave your life to Christ. Let us know at trustjesus19 at gmail.com. Well God loves you. Please subscribe to Are You Ready? And remember, Shalom, Shalom, Yerushalayim. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Shalom, everybody. Live for Jesus. Remember the greatest book in the world, the Bible. Good night, everybody. Sleep good and live for Jesus. Shalom.